What's up? Brad Layden Johnson here with that Monday workout. And I had a pretty off weekend. Um, what I did on Sunday was doing some glute stretches. I kind of overstretched my knee and that hurt. So walking into this, I wasn't feeling good there and my hips weren't feeling great. And then I did this. You sure you're deep enough there, Bradley? Really went too far there and just made the whole set much more difficult than it needed to be. Then did it again somehow because, you know, the first one wasn't quite deep enough. So <laughs> that set was kind of a bit errant. I wasn't exactly where I needed to be, which made the next one a little bit difficult, but you know, whatever. I definitely felt more pain in my hip than in my hips, plural, uh, especially my, like my, around my TFL, um, than I really wanted to be feeling. And you can tell in the drive, I just haven't got as much drive as I want in there, so I really need to look into doing something about that. Um, that looks grindy, it wasn't as difficult as maybe it looked, but harder than you really want for work sets. So I don't know how much further I've got with these weights, but screw all that because we move straight into bench press for what is a monumental day for the first time legitimate 100 kilo two plates aside work set and i have been wanting this weight for a long a long a long time where that come from for a long time um and yeah i was i was pretty glad to, to be here and, and all the reps were you know pretty secure enough at no point did i think i was gonna fail um this first set felt a bit scrappy um, first rep was alright, after that you can see how I carry too much energy in the bar, I haven't quite set it on my chest before I press, I corrected it for the third but the second one was a little bit off so you know that is what makes a rep scrap, I remember getting my head up and just uh, shaking my head a little bit, I was thinking no. And this one I'm more controlled there and as you can see the bar is immediately more symmetrical, there's less energy in it and it's better cleaner reps, I was happier with the third set, apart from that third rep there was a little bit too much energy, so I want to make sure I stop that bar dead so that um, you know I can press cleaner with it. Uh, moving on to the third one, and that's pretty secure. That's pretty secure, and this one extra leg drive at the end. There, and got it up. So I've got to work on improving my leg drive because I think I'm wasting energy. I should be using that kind of leg drive right off the bottom of the floor, not when it gets difficult halfway up on the third rep. Moving on to deadlifts, and this is kind of a mixed bag with it. The whole training session, all my training sessions seem to be mixed bags these days. But this one is definitely a mixed bag because I've got a whole heap of reps, good. But a whole heap of pain, bad. And my legs were just not in the right position. The deadlifts were really ugly, as you'll see in the picture in a sec. Um, as you see the camera there, zooming, focusing in out. By the way, I've got a new camera, new DSLR camera. Um, but I haven't got a tripod for it, so the angles are a bit off, forgive me. But you can see there, I'm just letting the bar bring me too far forward. I'm not driving up with the legs enough. I should be there, but I'm, I'm just moving over a tiny bit too much. And I just don't like these reps. And I know I don't like because even as I'm recording this now, I can feel it in my back where I used it too much. There you go. I don't normally, I don't normally have that much of an arch in my back. Look at that there. And I just need to improve. Um, it's good that I got so much weight up, but these are a mix of a bad sumo and a bad conventional deadlift. That's practically a stiff leg deadlift I just did there. So I can do a lot more weight than this, which is positive, but I'm not doing it correctly at the moment, which is a negative, and this really hurt. But other than that, we'll see you on Wednesday. Peace!